Hey, what's up? How's everyone doing today? So today we are going to be looking at the extension article on the Irwin Family Helps Animals. This is the news to you extension article for this week where we learn all about different animals from Australia. So let's go ahead and dive in and learn about all these cool little animals that we don't have here in North America. So, the Irwin family helps many wild animals. They helped many animals after the Australian wildfires. Let's learn about some Australian animals. Australia is famous for having unusual wild animals. These wild animals include the kangaroo and koala, but Australia has other unusual animals too. Most of the animals live in the wilderness of Australia. The unusual animals of Australia include birds like the kookaburra, and the cassowary. They include other animals like the bilby, the dingo, and the echidna. So this question is, what do you want to be famous for and why? So kangaroos are pretty famous for having their pouch and having their little joeys or their babies spend time in their pouch while they develop. What do you want to be famous for? So here's a kookaburra. A kookaburra makes a sound like it is laughing. A kookaburra is a small gray and brown bird with a long beak. So here's our beak right here. Kookaburras live in trees in the forest of Australia. They are native to Australia. A kookaburra uses its strong eyesight and large, powerful beak to hunt for food. A kookaburra makes a sound like a person laughing. This sound scares other birds away. So what makes you laugh and why? So the kookaburra sounds like it laughs. What makes you laugh? The cassowary. The cassowary is a large bird that cannot fly. A cassowary has black feathers on its body. The bird's neck and head are very colorful. The cassowary lives in the rainforest of Australia. Cassowaries have long legs and sharp claws. If a cassowary is scared, it kicks with its claws. And those kicks can actually kill you. So if you're ever around a southern cassowary, they are very dangerous birds. So cassowaries have coverings on their heads that look like helmets. This little piece right here kind of sticks up, that is kind of a weird looking bird called the Southern Cassowary. So when we were in Australia, driving through part of a tropical rainforest, we saw signs warning that there were cassowaries in the area, but we did not see any cassowaries. We saw some at some of the uh, parks that we visited, some of the uh, 
sanctuaries, the animal sanctuaries, but we did not see any cassowaries out in the wild. Would you like to visit a rainforest? Why would you like to visit a rainforest? I think rainforests are pretty cool. They have a lot of interesting animals. A bilby is a small animal that looks like a rabbit. A bilby has a long snout. So here's its snout, its nose. It has blue, gray, and white fur. And it has long ears. Look at these ears. They look like rabbit ears. So they call it an Easter rabbit in Australia. Bilbies live in deserts across Australia. They eat parts of plants, such as grass and fruit. They eat small insects and worms, too. Bilbies often dig holes and climb into them. This protects bilbies from heat and from other animals. So bilbies are nocturnal. That means that they only come out at night. And sometimes they can build these deep, holes, these deep little areas where they live, and it helps both protect them and keep them cool. So the question is, what do you like to eat and why? I know some of y'all like chicken. I know some of y'all like pizza. All right, here's a dingo. A dingo is a wild dog that cannot bark. A dingo looks like a dog, but it howls like a wolf. It has a longer snout and bigger ears than a dog. So here's its snout right here, and these are its ears. Dingoes either live alone or in groups in the wilderness. They hunt for small animals such as rodents and lizards. They eat fruit and vegetables too. They mainly are scavengers. So they will find dead animals and eat the carcass or the dead animal. Dingoes can run very fast and can jump very high in the air. Now, a lot of farmers don't like dingoes because they eat their livestock. So dingoes are one of those things in Australia that, you know, they look nice, but certain people don't like them and want to get rid of them. Would you want a dingo for a pet? Why would you either want one or not? I don't think dingoes make good pets. They're not cuddly like dogs are. They are wild animals. An echidna has a spiky coat to protect itself. So this is an echidna. An echidna looks like a porcupine or a hedgehog. It has sharp spines all over its body. When they are scared, echidnas can roll into small balls to protect themselves. Echidnas use their long, sticky tongues to catch and eat insects. So here's the snout, and inside it has this long tongue, a lot like an anteater. And so it sticks out that tongue and slurps up those insects. It, an echidna is one of the many unusual animals from Australia. So an echidna, when it is scared, will curl up into a little ball. And then it spikes, kind of like a porcupine spike, its spikes protect them. Now, both porcupines and echidnas 
cannot shoot their spikes. But when an animal bumps into them or tries to attack them, the spikes get pulled out of the echidna. They stick into the animal and get pulled out of the echidna. So the animal ends up with spikes on its snout, on its nose, and that kind of scares those animals away. So I hope you all enjoyed learning about some of the different animals that Australia has. Australia is a really cool place to at least learn about if you can't visit it yourself. They have lots of interesting animals, not just the animals that we learned about today, but they have a wombat, which is native to Australia. They have a Tasmanian devil, which is native to Australia. And they also have a platypus, which is native to Australia. So Australia has some really cool animals. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this little journey to Australia, learning about the animals of Australia. I will see y'all later. Have a good one and stay safe.